Studio Classroom is Hey, welcome to Studio Classroom on the air. You are just in time for a great time. My name is Gabe, and today is a great day to learn something new. It certainly is. My name is Anne Marie. Thanks for being here today, everyone. All right, we are on day two of our article called The Soil Under Your Feet. Yesterday, we talked a lot about dirt. Today, we want to talk a little bit about food waste. We're going to see that come up in our article later. So let's talk about this to begin. Do you have much food waste in your home? Um, well, we don't have a lot of food waste, uh, but the food waste that we do have, we like to feed to the pigs. Ah, how do you feed the food waste to the pigs? Well, Anne-Marie, you go out to the farm with your food waste and you dump it <laughs> into the trough where the pigs are feeding. Uh-huh. Yeah. So you have, you have pigs in your backyard? <laughs> you is that what the, you're telling me? No, there's a farm oh, that's okay. several kilometers away. Ah. No, of course that's not what I mean. But uh, what we do is we take our leftovers, or not the leftovers, the scraps, the scraps that we don't eat, right? And then we put them in a little bag and we actually put it in our freezer mm. until we need to take the garbage out. Mm -hmm. But then when we do, we dump that into the, the little bin for oh, okay. all the scraps. And I believe they take a lot of that food to animals. Okay, I see. So you're not directly giving it to the pigs yourself. You're no. just recycling No, no, no. It. But what okay. do you do about food waste? Well, I really do try not to have too much food waste in our house. Of course, we end up having some, but I really try to find a way to incorporate leftovers into different meals. Um, that way we're eating the same things in different ways and not wasting too much food. For sure. Well, friends, our lesson does mention the idea of waste today. There are different types of waste and things that can actually pollute the soil beneath our feet. Let's get into the rest of our lesson about soil right now. The Soil Under Your Feet Healthy soil is necessary not only for the growth of healthy plants, but also for water filtration. Healthy soil supports a landscape that can more easily resist the effects of drought, floods, or fire. In a nutshell, healthy soils are fundamental to our survival. Unfortunately, as with so many natural resources, soil is in danger. The world's rapid changes in lifestyle and economic development are creating a soil crisis soil quality is degrading. The discharge of waste and wastewater into the soil is polluting it, making it unsuitable for growing food. Hello everyone, welcome to Language Lab. I'm Jack. 我们先来看 drought 这个名词，它的意思是干旱. 例如, the drought was very hard on the corn and wheat crops this year. 今年的干旱对玉米和小麦造成了严重的伤害。或者是, the government provided some drought relief to people in that agricultural area. 政府对那个农业地区的人提供了一些干旱补助。再举一个例句。the Western United States finally got some relief from the drought when it rained for two weeks. 连续下了两周的雨后, 接着来看, in a nutshell, 这个用语, 它的意思是简而易之, Piru, just tell the class in a nutshell what your project is about. 就简单地告诉全班同学你的计划内容吧。或者是, in a nutshell, the movie is about a boy and girl meeting 
hating each other and then falling in love. 概括来说，这部电影讲的是一个男孩和一个女孩相遇、相恨，然后坠入爱河的故事。再举个例句 ，Our manager told us in a nutshell what she expected us to do, but didn't give us any details about how to do it. 我们经理只简单的告诉我们他希望我们做什么，但没有告诉我们该怎么做的细节。All right, let's get back to our teachers. Thank you so much, Jack. All right, let's continue with our lesson here. Healthy soil is necessary not only for the growth of healthy plants, but also for water filtration. The idea of filtration is the ability to filter something, right?、Um, do you ever use a sieve, Anne Marie, when you're cooking something? Sometimes I do use a sieve. I do have a water filtration system at、mm -hmm. home. Maybe some of you have a Brita at home as well that filters your water for you to take out some of the things that you don't want to be drinking. Yeah, for sure. That's a water filtration system, right? When I was talking about a sieve, that's something you use when cooking. Maybe you want to separate the water from the other parts of the food that you need, right? And so that's a way to filter the water out. That's just a different way to use the word filter. But we're talking about water filtration here. Healthy soil supports a landscape that can more easily resist the effects of drought, floods, or fire. In a nutshell, healthy soils are fundamental to our survival. Now we saw that word "fundamental" in yesterday's part of the lesson as well, when we read that it's fundamental for healthy food production. And here we see it's fundamental to our survival. So you get the idea that it's really important or essential. All right. Well, we're reading on here. Unfortunately, as with so many natural resources, soil is in danger. Before we move on, let's talk about that phrase. As with so many, how do we usually use that? Yeah. Well, when we're talking about as with so many, and then you add a noun,、uh, then you're supposed to think about all of those other things, right? Or this general category, and then you're going to share something similar. About this thing you're talking about. So, as with so many natural resources, soil is in danger. So we get the idea that a lot of other natural resources are also in danger. Here's another example. As with so many of his midterms, Mike got a good grade on his history test. So here we have the feeling that all of his tests went really well. He got a good grade on them, and that's why we can use the phrase "as with so many." Yeah, it's a great way to introduce information about something else that's very important, but you don't want to spend too much time on that, right? We don't have time to talk about all the other natural resources that are in danger. But now we know that a lot of other ones are in danger. So soil is in danger, right? The world's rapid changes in lifestyle and economic development are creating a soil crisis. When I think about a rapid change, I think about changes that are happening very fast or very quickly. That's right, and it says here that soil quality is degrading. Now, here the word degrading means getting worse. It was at a certain point, but now it's steadily going down in quality. But that's not the only way we could use this word degrading, is it? No, it's not. Oh, you're thinking about maybe like someone's comments that are kind of degrading. Yeah, sometimes you know people will draw a picture or a caricature of someone else, and it can feel kind of degrading to some people. For sure, you might say something mean, or like Anne Marie said, you draw something mean about somebody else, and. If you're doing something mean to somebody else, we could often use the word degrading to describe that as well. That was kind of a degrading comment, or that picture is kind of degrading. What is this a picture of behind me, though? This looks disgusting. It's disgusting. Well, we're talking about the soil crisis, Anne Marie. It does look like there's a crisis, and in some places, it's more obvious than others, right? When you look at pictures like this, or maybe you've seen this out in nature somewhere, where you see the, you know, oil, and you see that this soil is not that healthy, right? We read the discharge of, wa of waste and wastewater into the soil is polluting it, making it unsuitable for growing food. This, I would not want to grow anything in that. Yeah, here's another example for that word unsuitable. Her dress was cute, but it wasn't suitable for the weather. 
So I get the idea here that maybe she was wearing something without sleeves, but it was winter time, so she maybe was cold. So it's not suitable for the weather. That reminds me of a related word, something might be inappropriate. However, if someone is wearing something that's inappropriate, usually that means that person should be wearing more to cover more parts of their body. That's right. If something is inappropriate, that means something much different than not appropriate or unsuitable. So don't get those mixed up. All right. Well, we have more to say about soil here in a moment. Right now, let's go to today's Info Cloud. Hi, everyone, and welcome to today's program. Rex, has anyone ever told you that you are just the salt of the earth? No, I can't say that they have. <laughs> well, they should. Oh, why is that, John? Friends, today's phrase, salt of the earth, refers to a very honest and good person. Oh, I see. Well, uh, thank you, John. <laughs> I also think you're a salt of the earth kind of guy. John, um, where does today's phrase salt of the earth come from? Good question, Rex. Today's phrase actually comes from the Bible, specifically Jesus' famous Sermon on the Mount. It's there Jesus tells his disciples, you are the salt of the earth. Exactly. He's addressing ordinary fishermen and shepherds saying, you're worthy and virtuous. So what's important to understand about the phrase salt of the earth is Jesus isn't referring to the, the taste of salt, but its value. Sometimes you may hear salt of the earth used to describe someone who is down to earth or trustworthy. Good point. Either way, what's important is being called salt of the earth might be the best thing a person can hear. salt of the earth, salt of the earth, salt John is such a salt of the earth kind of guy. John Salt of the earth Welcome back to Studio Classroom. Anne-Marie, I got a question for you. Okay. What is irreparable? What is irreparable? Can you mm -hmm. give me a few options? No, 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 uh, just what is irreparable? Oh, like the definition of irreparable? Yeah. Well, to find that out, you're going to have to stay tuned for the next section of our article. Let's get started. The Soil Under Your Feet Whenever soil is polluted, crops must be destroyed, impacting farmers' lives. Once the soil is polluted, it can take decades and a significant amount of money to repair the damage. The soil needs everyone's help. Pay attention to environmental changes. Report pollution when you see it. Reduce food waste by consuming more and throwing away less. Eat a diverse diet. By eating different types of food, we create a demand for a wide variety of agricultural products. That is better for the soil. Let's all do our part to help the soil. Impact 
Rob has been impacting Jane's decisions ever since they met. 自从 Rob 认识 Jane 之后，就开始影响 Jane 的决定。Impact 也可以当名词，譬如 The impact of the drought is not totally known yet. 这场干旱所造成的影响目前还不完全清楚。再举一个例句 ，That factory's impact on the rising pollution in the area is widely known. 这家工厂对这个地区日益严重的污染所造成的影响是众所周知的。最后来看 consume 这个动词，意思是大量的吃喝或者是消耗、消费。譬如 ，The kids consumed all the candy in the house. 孩子们把家里所有的糖果都吃光了。或者是 ，My car consumes very little fuel as it is energy efficient. 我的车是节能型汽车，所以非常省油。另外 ，to be consumed with something 的意思呢是充满某种强烈的感情。譬如 ，Jack was consumed with guilt after he told Marie that no one liked her. Jack 跟 Marie 说没人喜欢他之后，感到非常的内疚。All right, let's get back to our teachers. Thank you so much, Jack. All right, let's continue here. Whenever soil is polluted, crops must be destroyed, impacting farmers' lives. Once the soil is polluted, it can take decades and a significant amount of money to repair the damage. Now, just a little quiz for you guys. I know you've learned this before, but what is a decade? A decade is ten years. So decades means tens of years. Decades usually has the idea of twenty plus decades. Oh,、uh, twenty plus years. Twenty plus years. <laughs> yes. Excuse me. Yes. So maybe twenty, thirty, forty, or more years. That's right. But Anne Marie, you did just say twenty plus decades. For those of you who are good at math, what is twenty decades? That would be 200 years, right? So there are different ways, different words we could use to talk about time or other amounts of things. So decades and a significant amount of money to repair the damage. Now earlier, I asked what is irreparable, and you didn't see that word here in the text, but that's the word we want to talk about right now. If you cannot repair something, if it's unable to be repaired or fixed. You could say it is irreparable. That's right. Now I get the feeling from our text here that when soil is polluted, it can be fixed. It just takes a really, really long time to do so. So I think what our writer is saying here that it's better to not let the soil get polluted in the first place, rather than having to go back through and pay a lot of money and spend a lot of time to repair the damage. That is such a good point, and I think that principle applies to so. Many different things in life, right, Anne Marie? Don't let a problem start in the first place, because yeah, in many cases you can change it or you can fix it later if it becomes a problem, but maybe it'll take a long time and a lot of money. So just prevent it from happening in the first place. It usually takes less effort to keep a problem from happening than to fix the damage or repair the damage once the problem actually happens. Yeah, this especially makes me think of relationships, right?、Mm. Maybe there's something、uh, that somebody is doing, or maybe there's something that you need to talk to that person about, but you know it's going to be an uncomfortable conversation. Well. Even though it's uncomfortable to have that conversation now, just think if nobody ever talks to that person, maybe some problems will arise in the future that could have been prevented if you just had that conversation now. That is such a good point. Well, reading on here, the soil needs everyone's help. Pay attention to environmental changes. Report pollution when you see it. Okay, so these are some action steps for us. These are things that we can do to keep the soil around us healthy. We have to check and see if there are environmental changes,、um, and if we see pollution, we really should say something about it. That kind of reminds me of that phrase: "If you see something, say something."、Um, I don't know where that came from. I know that some cities, some governments, maybe they'll have this written some places,、uh, just to kind of remind people that if you see anything that looks suspicious or kind of strange, 
maybe you should report that to the police or to the local authorities. I've seen this posted up in airports as well. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, you know, you might be traveling and see a bag and nobody's beside it and it's unattended or see someone acting a little bit strange. And that's when you might think of this phrase. If you see something, you should say something. Yeah, so the idea is when you're saying something in this case, you're reporting it to somebody. And that's the word we see here, report pollution when you see it. Tell the local authorities or somebody who can do something about it. Reduce food waste by consuming more and throwing away less. That's what we were talking about earlier, right? Making sure that you only uh, eat the amount that you actually need so that you're not actually wasting any food. Now this next point is really interesting to me. We read, eat a diverse diet. Why? Well, it says here, by eating different types of food, we create a demand for a wide variety of agricultural products. When you create a demand for, um, it's making sure that there is a lot of people who need a lot of that thing. That's right. Okay, so this is better for the soil. This is something that I don't consider very often. The fact that uh, we need to cultivate different types of soils, so we should eat a diverse um, you know, variety of food, right? Well, our lesson ends here. Let's all do our part to help the soil. That reminds me of that lesson we had a while ago about people who are testing the soil to make sure that it is okay. Now, soil doctors, isn't that what that one was called? <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. so. So these people are doing their part, right? Let's do our part. Let's contribute to helping the soil, right? That's all the time that we have for today, but let's see how the word essential is used in a skit. Yay! We're going camping! Well, there are certain things you need to take when you go camping. What items are essential? You must have a flashlight. That's essential. I have a flashlight. What else? You need to bring a sleeping bag. That's essential too. You really need a sleeping bag. Oh yeah, <laughs> I brought a sleeping bag too. And of course, you'll need food and water. All these things are necessary when you go camping. Yeah, of course they are. <laughs> and don't forget rain gear. A raincoat is essential. Yes, I have a raincoat. I have all the essentials, including my teddy bear. <laughs> Your teddy bear? Yeah. <sighs> That's not essential. It is to me. Okay. I'm just a kid. Fine. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Okay, come on, Teddy. Let's go. Well, we have reached the end of our lesson about soil. In fact, we've come to the end of the week, so it's essential that we have a weekly review. Anne-Marie, would you like to begin? I sure would. The first phrase that I have here is change things up. If you are changing things up, it means you are doing things differently than what you usually do. Okay, let's see here. I have the word, oh yeah. Do you remember we talked about the word irreparable? That means it can't be repaired. It cannot be fixed. We could also say it's beyond repair. It is irreparable. All right, I have to track something in. If you are tracking something in, it usually means it's something that's dirty or wet, and you're bringing that from outside into the house, usually on your feet. All right, what do I have here? Mm, up and coming. If something is up and coming, that means people have started to notice this person or thing. Usually we use it to talk about a person, maybe someone who will be a very famous celebrity in the future. They are an up and coming star. I remember talking about this one, to steal the show. If you steal the show, it means that you are the main focus, even though maybe you weren't supposed to be. Stealing the show from someone means all the focus then goes on you instead of the main person. Well, that's all the time that we have for today's weekly review. But we have lots of new lessons for you next week right here, so be sure to join us then right here on Studio, Studio Classroom. Classroom. Lifetime, I am so proud to have you in my life. A good friend lasts a lifetime.